Welcome back to PageFly Advanced Page Builder tutorial course. Uh, so we're building another page today. Uh, we're using Harry's product page as a clone. I'm going to do a quick review of the previous page we did, which was the Harry's About Us page. Uh, in the previous page, we had something like this and something like this, which was basically just a section with a big background image, a heading, and um, a paragraph. So we're not going to spend too much time in this video going over that. So I will off camera, I'll have those built for you for when we're previewing the final product. We're going to be focusing basically on this product area. Okay. So as usual, we're going to go into the first, the layout elements, and I'll just give you a quick um, breakdown of what we have here. Okay. So we're going to use the two column section again. So half and half. Okay. We won't be using this style of slideshow. That's not a feature of PageFly yet, but we do have the side scrolling slideshow. So we will have all three of those images available um, to view. Um, okay, we have a header here, a heading. We have a paragraph. We have these two drop down, which is called an accordion section. So we'll be putting that in. For now, we won't be putting in the size or quantity selectors. Uh, but we will be putting in add to cart the subtext with the icon and everything like that. And as I mentioned uh, off camera, I'll be putting in these sections just so we can view what the what the final product's like. Okay. If you don't remember how to align and put in these two sections, please visit the the previous video, which was the Harry's About Us um, page, where it was a man's hand holding a razor blade, and it had very similar design to this. Okay, and we're also going to review the how to duplicate and reverse the sections as well. Okay, so we'll start with a blank temp. Uh, sorry, not a template. We'll start with a blank page in the template uh, in the PageFly application. I'm going to put in a full section, and I'm going to put in the half half the two columns. As you notice, we have three sections. So we'll just I'll just remind you how to put those sections in because that should always be where you start out. Okay, I need another section. You know, we could have just duplicated this, which is what I'll do now. So I can delete that section, select this one, and I will duplicate it twice, okay? So in the two um, background image columns, I'll do those off camera once again, but it's basically just the first one has a header and a paragraph on the right. The second one has a heading and paragraph on the left. Okay. So you just need to drag and drop those in. It'll be the opposite side here for the product. Uh, we want first a slideshow element, which is quite important. Okay. So I want to go to add element and I can just search for the slideshow element itself. I misspelled it by mistake. There we go. We'll use this one at the top. Okay, because it's most similar to the one that's on Harry's product page. So I just drag and drop that into the column. Make sure it's in the left hand column. Okay, so we can manipulate that slideshow by itself. As you can see, there's only two, two slides here. I want another one. So with this slideshow selected, let me just move my camera here. Slideshow selected at the bottom. I want to go into the general tab on the element inspector and I just want to add a new tab. Okay. Now we'll have three, it'll be much easier for us to add things later, okay? Now we just need a heading, a paragraph. We need an accordion. Okay, search the accordion. Uh, the bottom one is most similar to what's on Harry's page now, okay? Put the accordion in there. We need a button. Uh, remember from the previous video, always put in a separate block for a button because then we can control how the button looks and, and the layout of it uh, without affecting anything else within the column. Okay, I'm going to put that block in there. Then we need actually two more blocks because we need to put um, an icon and paragraph in these in these blocks. Okay, so icon. There we go. A paragraph. Make sure it's in that block. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get it right in there. 
There we go. Okay, let's first um, work on this accordion just so we have everything in place. Very similar to the slideshow, we only need two drop down menus here or two accordion items as they call it. So I can just go to the general with the accordion uh, selected and I can remove two of those, okay? So that's done. Let me see their accordion here for a moment. Okay, it looks like, so they don't have a paragraph element in the accordion, they have a list. Okay, so first thing we can just delete that, delete the paragraph, search list. Okay, we just need a normal bullet list. Throw that into accordion number one, that's done. I think they have three, three in the list. So we might as well just have everything set up before we go to the next video. Okay, three items in there. And in the second drop down, three items plus a paragraph. Okay, so we'll be keeping the paragraph and I'll just put in another list. Make sure, is that gonna go on top? It went on the bottom, so I'm just going to move. Okay, I'm just going to put in another paragraph element. I just deleted the first one. So it looks like they show up on the bottom. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Uh, we want to center our button, so select the block, center that. It does look like it actually fits the entire block. So for now, I'm going to go down to Display and click, oh, button, sorry. Select the button block. Okay, that'll fill that in. And we just need to quickly align these two items in here. Okay, display inline block. Let's see if we can get these. Justify center, nope. Let's see, align items, center. Okay, that's what we want, okay? So I selected the block with the icon and the paragraph. Uh, I came down to display in styling, selected flex, and align the items in the center, okay? That'll allow us to put the icon and the text side by side, okay? Now I'm going to select this block. I'm just gonna duplicate that. Uh, that's going to be this truck and this ribbon icon with the text beside them, okay? So two blocks, uh, two items there. Okay, so we've got everything lined up here. We've got three slides in our slideshow. <clears throat> we've got a heading, a paragraph, two accordion items with list, and the second one with a paragraph. We've got our block button. We've got... Um, two blocks with icon and paragraph aside, and that's that. And then of course we've got our follow-up sections with the background image and the, and the text content, which I'll do off screen as we observe the, the final product, okay? So see you guys in the next video uh, where we're gonna be putting in the content for this first section and replicating as closely as we can this Harry's product page, okay? See you in the next video. Thank you.